I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, the latest version of QSC's very successful K-series of powered PA speakers. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the K.2 series of powered PA speakers from QSC. Like the original K-series, there are three members in the K.2 family, the 8-inch, 10-inch, and 12-inch versions. One of the big differences from the original K-series is the K.2 has greatly increased power. We have 2,000 watts overall available within each of these three cabinets. 1800 watts on the low end and 225 watts on the high end. This gives you much higher headroom, better dynamic range, and the ability to project higher SPLs. Another big difference with the K.2 series is that each of these cabinets has onboard DSP processing power. We'll talk more about that later. The K.2 series have very rugged enclosures built from ABS, so they're going to stand up to the rigors of the road. They also have built-in features like onboard fly points, several different ways to mount these, as well as two mounting cups for placing them on poles. One of those is straight and the other one tilts forward 7 degrees, so it aims downward if you're above your audience. As I mentioned, we have three different versions of the K.2 series speakers, 8-inch, 10-inch, and 12-inch, and each of them shares the same tweeter. There are two technologies incorporated into the K.2 series powered PA speakers that make them perform so well sonically. One of these is Directivity Match Transition. DMT is a technology that matches the coverage of the woofer to the coverage of the horn or the tweeter at the crossover point. The second technology is intrinsic correction. Now this smooths the power handling inside the speaker. The combination of these two technologies allows these speakers to perform very well in a wide variety of acoustic spaces. One of the most impressive things about the K.2 series is the frequency response of these cabinets. Even the little 8 inch cabinet produces amazing low end. The frequency response of these cabinets, or the 6 dB down point on the low end, is 59 Hz with the 8 inch, 56 Hz with the 10 inch, and 50 Hz with the 12 inch. And the frequency range, or the minus 10 dB point, is 55 Hz with the 8 inch, 50 Hz with the 10 inch, and 45 Hz with the 12 inch. On the top end, all three cabinets extend to 20 kHz, which gives us plenty of range for great detail, crisp highs, and intelligible reproduction of vocals. Let's take a quick tour of the back panel and also check out the DSP capabilities that are built into these speakers. Each of the speakers has three independent inputs, and those each have their own gain control, and all three can be summed together and run through the speaker simultaneously or sent out with a pass-through to another audio device. The first input is a combi jack, quarter inch and XLR that can accept either mic level or line level signals. The second input is also an XLR quarter inch combi jack, and that can accept high Z or guitar level signals along with line level signals. This allows you to use these K.2 series speakers for a singer-songwriter application where, for example, you plug an acoustic guitar into input 2 and a microphone into input 1. Input 3 is an 8th inch TRS jack, which is great for playing backing tracks or break music from your phone or other music player. Inputs 1 and 2 each have their own XLR pass-through that allow you to route their signal straight on to another audio device, for example, for monitoring on stage. At the top of the screen, we have two important settings, and that's the level that's coming into input 1 and input 2. When we select here, for input 1 we can choose line level, or we can scroll down and choose mic level. When we select mic level, an LED illuminates to show us that we have that selected for channel 1. If we go back to channel 2 and select, we can now choose between high Z and line, and once again, when we select instrument level, an indicator light will illuminate. The K.2 family comes equipped with a wide variety of factory presets that allow you to optimize them for different applications. So if we select preset here, hit enter, we can scroll through the different types. Default, live, live bright, dance, stage monitor, stage monitor 2, and so on. Each of these speakers also has a built-in crossover, and this allows you to configure them for use with an external subwoofer. The onboard delay parameter allows us to time-align the speakers when we're using them in an array situation. We also have onboard parametric EQ with the K.2 series, and this allows us to optimize the speakers for any acoustic situation. So if we dial down and select, the onboard EQ has a four-band configuration, a high shelf, a low shelf, and two adjustable mid-bands. You can also bypass the onboard EQ, and you can restore a flat EQ curve with one reset press. Finally, we have the settings menu. The settings menu allows you to do things like set the contrast for the display so you can optimize it for difficult lighting conditions. But one of the most powerful things found under this menu is user scenes. User scenes allow you to store all the DSP parameters and recall them instantly so you can save different settings for various venues that you're playing in. When you return to that venue, just select the user scene and you're ready to go. The new K.2 family of powered PA speakers from QSC is incredibly versatile. Whether you're using them as front of house PA speakers, whether you're setting them at an angle and using them as floor monitors, they perform equally well. 
They're ideal whether you're a musician or a band carrying your own PA system, for install at clubs or houses of worship, for mobile DJs, and in fact they make great instrument amplifiers as well. For keyboards or for guitarists who are using FRFR systems with modelers, they sound incredible. As I mentioned earlier, my band's been using the original K-Series for a long time, and I wanted to check out how the K8.2 would perform as well, so I took it out on the gig recently with my acoustic duo. We plugged in two guitars and two vocals, and we actually put it on the floor like this in front of the audience. It sounded incredible, was so easy to use, we were really happy with this performance. I hope you've enjoyed this look at QSC's new K.2 family of powered PA speakers. These speakers sound incredible, they're lightweight, easy to use, basically just set them up and they sound incredible. With the increased power up to 2000 watts, you have even more headroom and the ability to generate even higher SPLs, and you get great broad coverage and wonderful sound quality no matter what volume you're playing at. And with the onboard DSP processing capabilities, the K.2 series is also one of the most versatile speakers that's on the market. You really want to check these out no matter what sound reinforcement situation you find yourself in. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher.